What I want to say, at last spoke up the dodo, is that the best thing to get us dry would be a race. What kind of race? asked Alice. Not that she much wanted to know, but the dodo had paused, as if it thought that someone ought to speak, and no one else would say a word. Why, said the dodo, the best way to make it plain is to do it. And as you might like to try the same thing on a cold day, I'll tell you how the dodo did it. First, it marked out a race course in a sort of ring and didn't much care for the shape. And then all the crowd was placed on the course here and there. There was no one, two, three, and here we go. But they ran when they liked and left off when they liked, so that no one could tell when the race was ended. When they had been running half an hour or so, and were all quite dry, the dodo called out, The race is over! And they all crowded round it and asked, But who has won? This the dodo could not at first tell, but sat for a long time with one claw pressed to its head while the rest waited, but did not speak. At last the dodo said, All have won, and each must have a prize. But who is to give them? All asked at once. Why, she, of course, said the dodo, as it pointed to Alice with one long claw, and the whole party at once crowded round her as they called out, A prize! A prize! Alice did not know what to do, but she pulled from her pocket a box of little cakes. By a strange good luck, they did not get wet while she was in the pool, and handed them round as prizes. There was one apiece all around. But she must have a prize, you know, said the mouse. Of course, the dodo said. What else have you got? He went on as he turned to Alice. A thimble, said Alice, looking quite sad. Hand it here. Then they all crowded round her once more, while the dodo handed the thimble back to Alice and said, We beg that you accept this fine thimble. And when it had made the short speech, they all cheered. Alice thought the whole thing quite foolish, but they all looked so grave that she did not dare to laugh. And as she could not think what to say, she bowed and took the thimble while she looked as staid as she could. 